The Holtville girls soccer team has never advanced to the CIF San Diego Division 5 championship. Last year they were upset in the semifinals and this year they returned to the semifinals hoping to avenge last year's loss and remove the San Diego school stigma. To Holtville High School we go with the Vikings softball team joining a nice crowd on hand for the semi matchup against the Cobras of Chula Vista Learning Community Charter. Early second half scoreless and the Cobras with a penalty kick that hits the crossbar. The Vikings goalies were under attack now most of the game. Moments later Holtville's Laura Mendoza with a centering kick and watch Amanda Strom with the leg work and the shot on goal. She gets the goal and the Vikings take a 1-0 lead with just under 33 minutes left to play. Holtville didn't have many scoring chances. But the ones they did have, they made the most of. Watch Mackenzie Wright stay with the ball, gets a shot off, off the mark. Now the Cobras with another scoring chance, but the shot is going to go wide left. She had whole right side and she chose to go left. Vikings dodge a bullet, final seconds. Now the horn sounds, the game ends. Holfield survives and they win by a score of 1-0 and advance to the division championship for the first time in school history. Just super proud. This was um, coming from a small school um, in the Valley. I know that what our girls struggle with a lot is as a small school from the Valley, not going into these games feeling like they can win. And uh, I think that what they're proving to themselves tonight is that they can do this. And so I'm hoping that we carry that into the next match. And that was head coach Sadie Ming. The Vikings will next play on May 28th for the Division 5 championship. Now to Cal Jones Field in El Centro. The Spirit team trying to charge up the big crowd on hand watching Central and Sage Creek. Central down 2 nothing in the second half and they're looking to get on the board. Central's Jay Lopez with a nice centering pass to Alexis Garcia who puts on a few moves and puts a nice shot on net. However, it's going to be right at the goaltender. Moments later, Camila Munga puts a pass on net and it bounces around the front of the goal. Another opportunity missed for the Spartans. Later, a penalty shot for Sage Creek and they connect, making the score 3-0. And the Bobcats go on to win this one by a score of 6-0. They eliminate Central. Congratulations, Spartans on a terrific season. Hey, 16 of the best teams across the country have flocked to our area to determine the next JUCO softball national champion. One of them is the Yavapai Rough Riders. They took on three rivers out of Missouri. Top of the first Rough Riders pitcher, Emily Dix, forces Molly Spangler to ground out to third. That results in a force out and play at second base. It's the first out of the game. But the Raiders would strike first. Brianna Everett hits this Dix offering down the third base line for an RBI single. Yavapai down early in this one. Then Dix settles down, forcing Zoe Bisbee into a pop fly behind home plate where catcher Cheyenne Sandoval makes a nice catch. That's the out. Then Dix would be dialed in as she gets Lauren Joyner to strike out coming up here. That ends the top half. Yavapai, though, would fall in this one by a score of 7-4. to four. And for you basketball fans out there, I know that Christian is all over this one. The Suns fall to the Lakers tonight. That series now tied at a game apiece and then now ships back to Los Angeles. That's all the time we have for sports. We'll be right back.